Spreadsheets An Introduction A spreadsheet is an interactive computer application program for analysis and storage of data in tabular form that can be manipulated and used for calculations. The program operates on data entered in cells of a table. Microsoft Excel 2010 is a spreadsheet application of MS Office 2010 which is used for storing data in tabular form, performing simple as well as complex calculations. Excel files are called workbooks. Each workbook holds one or more worksheets. When you open an Excel workbook, there are three worksheets by default. The default names on the worksheet tabs are Sheet 1, Sheet 2 and Sheet 3. Features of MS Excel Organize data Microsoft Excel provides various sorting operations to organize the data entered in a proper manner. Using numbers MS Excel is used to quickly tally figures, averages, set up budgets and forecast future spending. Functions by using functions in MS Excel, we can perform any simple and complex calculations by using formulas. Advantages of using Excel Excel is an excellent spreadsheet software program to keep large amount of data and records. Some of the advantages are Data can be maintained in systematic manner in a tabular form. Addition, subtraction and other basic calculations can be performed easily on a large amount of data. Data can be updated with much more ease way. MS Excel is easy to use and learn because of its simple GUI. To start Microsoft Excel 2010 Click on Start button Click on All Apps. Click on Microsoft Office. Choose Microsoft Excel 2010 from the Windows Accessories. Components of Microsoft Excel 2010 Workbook A workbook is an Excel file that contains one or more worksheets. By default, a new Excel workbook will contain three worksheets. Rows. Each worksheet has 10,48,576 rows numbered from 1 to 10,48,576. Columns. There are 16,384 columns in a worksheet labeled A, B, C and so on till Z, AA, AB, so on till AZ. BA, BB, so on till XFD. Sheet tabs. By default, a workbook has three sheet tabs named Sheet 1, Sheet 2 and Sheet 3. Cell. A rectangular block formed by the intersection of rows and columns. Active cell. A cell with dark boundary. Cell address. A cell address is referred by column number and row number. Example, A1 refers first column A and first row 1. Data types. Number, text and formula. Worksheet. An Excel worksheet is a single spreadsheet that contains cells organized by rows and columns. A worksheet begins with row 1 and column A. In Excel 2010, the maximum size of a worksheet is 10,48,576 rows by 16,384 columns. Formula bar Formula bar has two boxes. The left side box is name box. It displays the address of the current active cell. 
the data or the formula is displayed in formula bar. The values are automatically put in the active cell. Entering data in the worksheet. In a worksheet, you can enter data in the form of numbers or text by just clicking on a cell and being typing. Click on the cell where you want to enter the data. Then type the data. The data you type appears in the active cell and in the formula bar. To enter data in active cell, type data in it. As you start typing, the data will appear both in the cell and the formula bar. A cell can contain up to 255 characters. By default, a cell contains 9 characters. No more. You can press the shortcut key Shift plus F11 to insert a new worksheet. By default, there are only 3 worksheets in Excel workbook. You can add more worksheets according to your need.